What's up everyone, it's the Tyrant here, and yesterday we had some pretty big news drop from E3 2019 for the Xbox conference, and that of course was Halo Infinite. Now, we already knew that Halo Infinite was going to be coming out, uh, but we didn't know when, and we finally got a release date for it, which I think is incredible. We'll talk about that in a minute, but before we go into it, let's take a moment to just appreciate the Chief's armor design here. It really does take me back to the original trilogy, and I'm glad to see that they're bringing the original design to Halo Infinite. I would be interested to see why Chief is wearing this armor instead of the one he wore, and instead of the suit that he wore at the end of Halo 5. Maybe they'll explain that in the game. I am looking forward to uh, seeing this in game and definitely playing it as well. Now, when this trailer first starts out, we see a Marine. It looks like he is abandoned on a uh, derelict pelican, and he's definitely been there for quite some time. If I were to make a guess here, I'd say that probably uh, this trailer starts out around the time Cortana takes over, and at the end of the time lapse, it fast forward to when we actually see the Chief. So the Quite a bit of time has passed here. How the Marine was able to survive so long, I have no idea. I don't know where he got his food and stuff, but as Mystery Science Theater 3000 says, it's just a show and I should really just relax. Or in this case, a video game, but who really cares at this point? We're just excited, right? So then he comes across the Master Chief. Now, the Master Chief is just alone in space at this point, and it does really beg the question, what happened between the end of Halo 5 and the beginning of Halo Infinite? Why is Master Chief in this situation? How did he get separated from Halsey and the Arbiter? Whatever the case may be, they end up near a Halo ring. Now, we've seen, it's been speculated that the Halo that we're going to be playing on in Halo Infinite is going to be Zeta Halo. Admittedly, this threw me off. If you look, the Halo's actually broken. It, it, at first, I thought this might be Installation 04, but that wouldn't make a whole lot of sense, uh, given that it's been a while. Halo, installation 04 is a complete mess at this point. I don't think it's going to look as pristine as this particular Halo ring does. So I think we're still going to be on Zeta Halo, but what happened to Zeta Halo here is definitely something that I'm curious about and I'd love to hear your theories in the comment section below but all I can say is this game looks absolutely gorgeous if you look at the little caption at the bottom this is the actual engine that the game will be using so this is what the game is supposed to look like when you're playing it and it looks absolutely beautiful but the big piece of news that we got from this trailer, the big takeaway is we got a release date. Not a specific date, but we got holiday of 2020. And this this does not take me by surprise. I kind of theorized this for a while, but this will be the launch title for Project Scarlet. In fact, I'm, I'm, I'm calling it now. I think it's going to be called Xbox Infinite. Who else here thinks that? I think so too. You, you guys can let me know in the comments below, but I think they're going to call this ultimately Xbox Infinite. So I'd love to hear what you guys thought about the trailer. I'd like to hear about what you th you're looking forward to the most in Halo Infinite. You can let me know in the comments below. And I want to take a moment to thank each and every one of you for taking the time out of your busy day to sit down and watch this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope you'll consider subscribing for more great content right here on MythTavern.com. And let me know in the comments below what you thought of this year's E3 2019 Xbox Microsoft Press Conference. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everyone here has an absolutely wonderful week. I'll catch you all right back here next time. And as always, I'm the Tyrant, signing off.